So here we've got a shot from a wedding day by the looks of it. It looks like it's in the back of a camper van. It's been supplied as a DNG file, which I've imported into Lightroom 5. So um, let's have a let's have a look. So I think initially um, I'm probably thinking let's get this horizon nice and straight. Whoops, that's a white balance tool. Let's go for the crop tool, which has this straight and angle tool in it. So we can just draw along the top of that. It's only slightly astray, but uh, quite fancy getting it straight. So now we've got the crop up. I don't think this pink at the bottom is helping us, so let's just sort of crop up above that. I quite like the central position of her there, and this big white expanse above her. I think these sides might just slightly distract from the photo. So let's just drag those in a little bit. It's almost getting a square crop there. In fact, if you're a Lightroom user, you, you want to do a square crop, you can go into the, the tool and hit one of the presets. And there you go. So that is a square crop. So yeah, I think just for this shot, let's go purely square. Something a little bit different. You can see... So I'm just going to try and get the whole of the bench seat in here as well. Or at least because it's so it's symmetrical. Okay, so there's there's a nice square crop of it. So I think with most wedding shots of brides, I tend to go for a bit of negative clarity, just to soften things up a little bit, give it that more romantic, maybe a bit of contrast. And now I'm going to use the tone curve on her skin because I'm going to brighten her up a little bit. I'm not bothered about the background burning out. I just don't want the dress or her to burn out. She spent a lot of money on that outfit, so you don't want to don't want to be burning all the detailing out of it. Okay. So what to do with the colours? Well, actually, I quite like because because we've raised up the the mid tones with the curves. It's um, definitely brightened up. All the colours. Um, I'm just scrolling down the side here. So what we could do, if we like the pinks, we can use this slider. Yeah, let's get those pinks up a little bit. And I'm going to now reduce the rest of the saturation as this. It's not spot colouring, it's just a sort of toning effect, really. I'm not a big fan of spot colouring. Uh, maybe you just lift the shadows. See how it's brightening her face up there as I just gradually lift the shadows. And I might just drag the black star a little bit. Cause she's got quite dark eye makeup on. Okay. And what next? See, you can always add vignettes to these things. So it's a, a dark vignette. Never really want anything too dark in a wedding shot. I mean, you could do something like this. Nice big feather. So it draws your eye straight to her. Maybe not quite so dark. Get that midpoint quite small so it leaves her nice and bright. In fact, what you can do with that now, because the rest of the van has gone quite dark, is we can brighten the whole thing up. Ah. So if you look at the histogram, it's all pretty much over to the right, so we've got a nice high key shot. The white clipping is those red spots in the background, so there's not a lot wrong there. So if we zoom in, So there's no real need for skin smooth or anything like that on this shot. She's got a lovely smooth, smooth skin. But what you could do if you wanted to is maybe sharpen up this um, tiara she's wearing. So if we go to sharpness, 
and let's get a nice little brush. I'm going to put it onto full whack on the flow and just sort of. So I'll just bring out the emphasis, make those shine through a little bit. I often do the sharpening in Photoshop because it has a little bit more accuracy. But oops, there we go. Let's sharpen our eyes and lashes up a little bit too. Lips. There we go. Okay, so let's shrink that back down. See, if, see if we can see the difference. Okay, so that's one with a light big net. So I'm going to create a virtual copy just to show you the sort of more traditional light big net look, which I am not a big fan of, but might be useful for weddings. So if we just take this slider the other way. You get that, and then finally, let's just create the and that final virtual copy. Revert it back to the original state. Control Shift and R. So that's where we started. A nice simple edit to get a dark vignette and one to get a light vignette. The light vignette may actually work better in this instance. Okay. Hope that helps.